Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain you to reveal how to make the best Neapolitan pizza at home. It's quite easy, what you need is a frying pan and an oven, a kitchen oven, you know? This frying pan is very thin, uh, it might be a crepe pan, it's not so deep, you know, because this pan is going to go inside your oven between the grid and the grill. This is very important. So you have to preheat your oven to preheat your pan as well. You see? Um, so switch the stove on and try to reach the temperature of 250 degrees, not 300. 300 is too much. So 250 is enough. So start making your base. Remember, don't push the border. Don't do it. Uh, push starting from the middle because in this way you will uh, save the border which will raise in the, in the best way possible as for Napolitan pizza. So do it while your frying pan is on the on the stove and put your your base in the frying pan. Uh, I know it's not easy at the beginning but you can find many videos in my YouTube channel uh, where you can learn how to make every step. So, put your tomato on the base. You can learn how to make the best tomato as well. Uh, so, try to to fill the base, but don't don't put tomato on the border. Otherwise, it doesn't raise. So, it's time to put a little bit of parmesan and pecorino romano cheese if you can find it otherwise parmesan is enough then mozzarella uh, you know it's like a um, stick you know over pizza then basil some leaves of basil fresh basil some olive oil extra virgin olive oil and then the magic starts so while the stove is on, pizza is cooking, of course. Uh, so at some point, it's good to check if it's done. So let's wait maybe one minute. It depends, you know, uh, the temperature of your pan, which takes five ten minutes to preheat in the best way possible you know so now it's time to put the, the pan inside the oven but be careful leave the door open otherwise <laughs> it's a mess <laughs> as you can imagine you know the plastic can liquefy so uh, and this is the best way uh, to um, leave the grill on because if the door stays open the grill never switches off and this way you know it keeps uh, on and the temperature is kept on the, the the maximum possible you know so as you can see the frying pan is very close to the grill which is red you know, high temperature Vesuvius temperature and and this allows pizza to rise to raise in the best way possible you know as uh, should be for a Napolitan pizza because usually the, the temperature in the oven is around 270 the maximum possible but I checked that the temperature over the grill is um, around 350 which is enough to make a good Napolitan pizza you see can you see the smoke it's because you know pizza is cooking well so uh, while pizza was cooking I also turned the, the pan in order to cook every side but at some point I needed to, to, to take pizza out from the oven and to manually turn the, the side which was not well cooked you see now uh, let's completely turn pizza 
let's jump under the grill for extra 30 seconds so the the time it depends on the oven but usually the time inside the oven might be around 90 seconds 100 seconds which is the, the typical time spent in a real stoned oven it's done it's done you see this is uh, as a, a Napolitan pizza should look like it's not crispy it's very soft um, the mozzarella shape is kept it's not liquefied and pizza looks very soft very good eh? I, I personally made the QA testing of pizza and I also cut pizza just to see the inside and it's well cooked so uh, actually this is the best way to cook pizza at home uh, I'm not saying that uh, 600,000 people who watched the, the Italian video said that so try it and, and let me know uh, I think you will enjoy <laughs> thank you so much for watching and See you next video. Bye-bye.